What's going on guys, Web here, bringing you another progress video. As you saw in the last episode, got some cave kraken. I'm gonna go ahead and sell my archer's ring. It kinda sucks because, yeah, I had to imbue it, so, yeah, that sucks. That's all I have to say, it sucks, but uh, getting points isn't very bad if you just do a legit method. <clears throat> Cough nightmares on prods, you can get points without AFKing. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this. I actually don't know how much it was. I think I bought it for like 3.4 mil, so, in before it's 2 mil. Yep. Uh, that was a really weird noise, but yeah, that sounds about right. 2.9 mil, that's not bad, I guess. So I'm actually going to buy myself some Infinity Boots. I'm going to pretty much try to buy myself, like, Max Mage. Uh, I might buy a Sears Ring, maybe, even, uh, but I don't know if that's actually worth the price. How much is a Sears Ring? Sears. It bothers me that there's no apostrophe right here, but Sears Ring is 200k. Yeah, I can, I can buy that. I'll buy that and some Infinity Boots, and I don't think... Actually, how much is a Mage Book? I really don't want to pay too much. Yeah, six mil, that's not worth it. I will just, um, I'll probably buy, like, a Book of Darkness, so I'll buy the rest of my Ancient Pages, fill that up, and, uh, yeah, let's go get, like, 15 tridents and, like, 12 things. And I'm going to put my Jars of Dirt in the Grand Exchange, that just reminded me. <laughs> Making bank. The struggle is real. Jagex, we really need some instance worlds for Kraken. I just had to hop worlds so many times that I somehow got this error. Yeah. That's here. I hopped, like, 20 times, and there was a person on every single world. Yeah, let's, uh, let's add some instance worlds. I would gladly pay, like, 30k for a session of, like, just for each inventory of sitting there alone. Maybe have, like, a coffer out there. I just put, like, one mil in and just so I can actually slay in peace. Jeez. It's ridiculous. I have to start high-scoring people, and just, like, if I have a higher magic level, I'll just crash them, because, like, I have to be that guy. Ugh. Alrighty, guys, so I got an elite, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick, and get absolutely nothing but, um, Solid, and the other guy that I went with before, Mr. Demonic Cause over there, wants to go to Saradoman again, so I will gladly go after, you know, after last trip. I have no problem with going, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this elite really quick. Hopefully get some... I, I don't even know. Oh my lord, this is this is the longest elite I think I've ever done. Like, please. I, I'm convinced I'm just stuck in an infinite loop of getting Sherlock Clues. I think I might actually be like in some sort of an infinite loop of getting Sherlock Clues. I've ser this is probably like seven in a row. I'm actually like kind of concerned that I might be glitched right now. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm gonna do this, like, I, like, look at, look at all these in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, six in a row since I logged in again. I'm almost sure that this is, like, glitched. I'm gonna try, like, one or two more, and if they don't work, then I'm just gonna be like, what the hell. This has to be the single longest elite in the game. Please give me something good. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> okay, Armadale Page. Armadale Page is, isn't that bad, I guess. Yeah, definitely not worth my time. How, how much is this clue? Let's see here. 300, 400k. Yeah, that's, no. That seriously took me like two hours. I, I swear to God. No, not two hours. All right, that probably took me at least like 45 minutes. No. D stop it. I, I better get a hilt this trip now. Because I just kept these guys waiting for that long. Oh, hell yes, guys. We just got a Ceridoman hilt. Fantastic. That's like a, what, 11 mil split? Something like that? Oh, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> we got it. Yes. Alrighty, guys. Well, we finished that trip. Didn't get anything after the hilt, but no complaints. Um, the total spoils from it. There we go. 13.6 mil. It's definitely worth the time. We were there for about three hours or so. So, definitely a good trip for sure. So, that's pretty awesome. Look at this guy calling us noobs. Anyway, um... I think I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of want to get 94 mage or so, maybe even 96, but I'm not sure. Because spellbox, sw spellbook swapping would be really useful for clues and stuff, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, if not, I might just finish off 90 prayer, just because that seems like something that would be good to do. And, um, yeah, <laughs> this guy. Ooh, not bad. I think those are worth something. Let's see. Okay, it's worth absolutely nothing, so. 
pro realistically probably like 120k clue. Thanks. Alrighty guys, finished that uh, Kraken task and got an elite, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as soon as I get another task. Bloodveld's the most boring task in the game, but you got to do them because it's good XP and you know how much I love the XP. So I'm actually going to go charge, I think, um, I'm going to go charge these crystal bows or these crystal seeds that I had. I, I don't know why I love crystal bows. Like, they're really an underrated weapon. Like, it works really well, honestly. And once you get it, um, like, to a good rate, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Once you get it to, like, a good charge thing, they're actually very, like, economical, I guess would be the word to describe it. So I might actually go to the Grand Exchange and buy a couple more crystal seeds since I think they're pretty cheap. They looked like they were like 40k each in the Grand Exchange, but I don't know what they'll actually buy for. But I'm going to buy some of those. Maybe uh, try to get the price down to like, what, the 100 something k. So it's, I think it costs like 70 GP per shot or something like that. And it's one of the strongest weapons in the game. So overall, definitely good for elites and other random stuff where you just, this is one inventory slot for an alternate attack style. So yeah, let's do that. Alright guys, well, just been doing a little bit of Nightmare Zone, actually, uh, to get all these imbued. It's only 20,000 each, so, yeah, it's nothing. Uh, I think I'm going to try to, uh, with, like, the entire time that I'm doing this, like, Slayer Goal thing. Uh, oh, I, I also have something you guys need to see. Yeah. Wait, wait for it. Yeah, hit over 100,000 cannonballs again. So, uh, I'm going to be collecting herb boxes as well while I'm doing this, so, yeah. Let's see kind of, I really want to just get like a super awesome tab to sell like after like a couple weeks, like a week or so, something like that of doing Slayer, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, honestly, doing Nightmare Zone like that's pretty fun. I bought full Darok, it's only like one mil, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's actually really fun doing it like that. I don't know why more people don't do it. It's just like, it's it's fun to do, guys. You don't have to freaking AFK and Guthans for six hours. You can just play the game. It's pretty fun. Whatever. That's probably the shortest elite ever, but there we go. Got a, like, nothing, really. Mm, not bad. Okay, Jagex, you absolutely have to do something about how freaking crowded the Slayer Cave is. It's ridiculous. I have to, like, every single task in the entire Slayer Cave, I have to hop, like, 14 times to get a world. So, uh, with how popular Slayer is, I don't know if they're, like, add more worlds or something. Because, like, every single world is full, and I'm getting crashed, like, every other freaking kill. And Slayer is not enjoyable when this is happening, so, like, let's, let's, uh, let's tone it down a little bit, guys. Also, if you see somebody is at a task, try hopping. If everybody did that, then the world would be a better place. Like, a much better place. Like, just, come on. Alright, guys, so, um, actually, the... So, let's, come on. Trying to make a video here. Uh, so apparently the achievement diary just did come out today, so that's pretty awesome. I have a lot of work to do. I did not realize that they actually made an elite diary for Karamja. Huh, interesting. Um, I think... Oh my lord. Quip 56 nature runes. I'm going to see uh, exactly what I can do. I, I want to know if there's any elite diaries that I can actually do the entire thing for. That would be pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to do a bunch of diaries. I'm going to probably just put everything on runecrafting. Honestly, I think you get 50,000 for elites, 20,000 for hards, 10,000 for mediums, and 5,000 for easy. So, uh, I imagine I could get quite a few runecrafting levels even just from these random things. So, I'm going to just do a couple diaries, see what I can do. It looks like they didn't go overboard with it like they did in RuneScape 2. Like, there's maybe like 10 tasks for each thing, which is good. Like, just have 10 difficult tasks instead of 50 easy tasks and then three hard tasks. No, yeah, thank you. This, this looks nice. Okay, so I checked everything and for the most part I can do pretty much all of the hard diaries at least, which I guess is good enough. The Elite, di or the elite Diary rewards are pretty cool, but I don't think there are any of them that I really need, so uh, I have a lot of stuff that I need to do, a lot of random stuff. This is the main thing I don't like about diaries is all the like crappy content in the game that nobody wants to do you're kind of forced to do for the diaries, so yeah, I'm not going to have very much fun. Pretty much the most annoying thing I have to do, I have to get Bones to Peaches for the Lumbridge Diary, which is really freaking annoying. Um, and I also have to do Between a Rock, Hand in the Sand, and the like Moger mini quest thing. And I need to get some fire making levels and a couple smithing levels. Um, I mean, I could just boost 75 for both of the things that I need smithing for. 
But uh, I'm not going to do the wilderness one now because I can already tell you the wilderness is going to be packed with people right now. I'm going to wait a week or two before I do the wilderness diaries. Um, I'm not in the wilderness very often, so I don't really think any of the rewards will be very helpful. But probably the worst one, I have to get 125 chompy kills, which, why? Uh, let's get started, I guess. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I've done Tower of Life and... Uh, oh, what was the other quest? Something else, but this is uh, Grim Tales about to be done. There we go. A lot of XP, actually. 74 wood cutting. Pretty cool. Um, I did Tower of Life, and I cannot remember the other one, but it was something. So uh, I only have, let's see, the only other quest I have to do is, I guess, Between a Rock, and that will be the last one. And then I still have to do, the, my main big thing is I still have to do Bones to Peaches, so that's going to suck. But uh, I also have to get my Grigri back, because you need to be a Karamja monkey for the Arjunog tasks, and I didn't think that I'd ever need that again, so I dropped it. So i got to get that again, and then i got to do the Mogur mini quest, and Between a Rock, and get a couple smithing levels, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, should be able to get this all done pretty soon. Oh, I hate this so much, but there we go, 300 pizzazz points, yay. Uh, that is the alchemy done, now i got to do... All the other three. Apparently alchemy is not even like close to the worst one, so yeah. I got a thousand coins though, thanks. Jakes. Okay guys, well I've been doing a lot of mage training arena, um, pretty much all day. Or not all day, I guess, for a couple hours. And those are my points right now. Um, I have all the alchemist, all the enchantment, almost all the graveyard, and I still have the telekinetic to go, but uh, overall, no, I'm getting really tired of doing it, so I'm going to do some tasks. Uh, I have all the requirements for Martania, so I'm going to do those, get myself the bone crusher, I guess. And uh, maybe do some, you know, Varrock, Falador. I could probably do Fremenic as well. I Really, the main one that I can't do is Lumbridge because there's freaking bone speeches, and that's really annoying. But, oh well, yeah, yeah let's do some tasks. Alrighty, guys, so I actually just got all the medium tasks, all the easy tasks done. The last one was freaking Trouble Brewing. I don't even know what Trouble Brewing is, so there's those. And there's... Wait, wait, there, there it is. Mortania Legs 2. Not bad. Let's get that runecrafting XP. Let's see, here we got 7.5k. 2 point. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, my. I have to mine Mithril Ore. And in order to do that, I have to go through the entire haunted mine to get a key to open a door where the Mithril Ore is for one task. And this isn't an elite task, this is a hard task. Like. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry there wasn't all that much progress, I guess, maybe. Actually, there kind of was. I, I, don't, I don't even remember what I did this entire video. But, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Next video, I will probably be just trying to complete as many of the diaries as I can. And then probably just get back to Slayer. But, uh, I'm almost done. I have... Yeah, as you can see, hard diaries like pretty much done. Most of it's just farming stuff, so I'm going to watch some Breaking Bad or something and just, like, sit there and kind of watch over the crops, make sure that they don't all die and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you later.